Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. So um, please do go check that out. And uh, before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Capricorn, hope you're doing well. Second half of August, general reading. This is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign element planet energy. If this part doesn't resonate for you, that is totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. And if you click on the link on the title, then there's something probably in here for you. So let's see. For Capricorn, second half of August, Spirit, please. One card for Capricorn. What kind of feeling that energy is around them or could be affecting them the second half of August? So we have Mars energy. Mars energy, which is Aries. So you could have an Aries around you, or have it in your chart, or something of that nature, or it could be the energy of Mars, which is competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, and strength. So it's having that very strong, determined energy of wanting to be in control, taking control, charging forward, much like the Emperor energy. And then you have 817, which is 8, which is about action and movement and travel and communication. Very fast-paced. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on for you, um, Capricorn, second half of August. In Aries is fire energy. So again, with that fiery, passionate, um, ambitious energy. All right. Capricorn, let's get your main message, your main energy for the second half of August. What is going on with Capricorn spirit, please? Here we go. Grace. So this is being grateful. This is being dignified. This is being pure, honest, and true. So no matter how fiery and passionate and determined you are to move forward, to be successful, to be in control, in charge, whatever is still being in a mindset of being honest, pure, and true, and graceful, and, and don't let yourself get into a very ego, negative kind of place, or very egotistical. This is still remaining, um, you know, grounded and pure, grateful, doing in everything with grace, as fiery as you may be. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for extra message connections. So, you know, this is all about heart connections. This is all about, you know, family, friends. Also could mean connections as you strive forward to your goals, being very ambitious and moving on. And maybe you just have a lot of connections here to different types of people that are helping you in your journey that are probably giving you lots of knowledge. Your learning, your um, mentors, um, apprenticeship, whatever it is for you, college, school, whatever here, a lot of connections, providing a lot of knowledge. And you're very grateful. You're accepting it all with grace and dignity and thankfulness. And you see the leaves there, which is about growth and expansion. So, yep. Let me put it this way. So I definitely feel like here you have people that are helping you, um, connections, providing a lot of knowledge, advice, mentorship, whatever it is for you. And you're very, very grateful for these people in your life, for these opportunities um, moving forward. Very, very ambitious, fiery energy. All right, so let's get more clarity on your situation. Let's get more of your energy for the last half of August. Okay, so 
we have justice, we have the seven of coins, and we have the sun. So this is Libra, there's your earth energy, and there's Leo energy. So justice, so getting your justice, balancing out your scales, uh, getting what is rightfully yours, moving forward in, <clears throat> in what is meant to be for you. So that's a good energy, uh, really doing what your life purpose is, um, getting your like equilibrium, like just really being balanced and moving forward. Or maybe you're even going into something in the justice system moving forward. And these are these connections. And it's a lot of learning and patience here. So it's a long process. You know that you're having patience and you're doing it with grace and thankfulness. Long, you know, pentacles are about learning also. So, you know, learning, having the patience and slowly building on takes time, but feeling very happy and content. The sun energy, you know, everything positive with the sun, enlightenment, um, <clears throat> growth, prosperity, happy home and family, total happy and joyness there with the sun. So being very, very happy and just full of like that vibrant sun energy feeling like your life is just so good right now going in the right direction and you know it's going to take time patience practice hard work but you're willing to do that and put in the hard work so what else is going on for you capricorn so we have the four of swords in reverse so air energy here so the fords upright four of swords upright is about um you know just Kind of taking a respite, a rest, a recuperating, rejuvenating, you know, thinking, contemplating, retreating. But I feel like Four of Swords, you know, you're you're not in any way, shape, or form taking any breaks, taking any. Uh, you just keep moving on, moving on, not taking any breaks, not taking any time. Maybe you need to rest a little bit more sometimes, and maybe you're not doing that. The Four of Swords in reverse. You know, you, you don't want to take breaks. You don't want to rest or anything. You just want to keep moving on, moving on, moving on. But maybe you need to rest. Because now we have the Page of Swords. We have the Two of Coins. And we have Temperance. So the Page of Swords, again, is with that learning. You know, it could be online learning. It can be uh, maybe you have connections, acquiring knowledge. Maybe it's, you know, connections you have online uh, in some way, shape, or form communicating with people online um, being very open honest and truthful here it's all about communication the two of coins juggling a lot here as you're moving forward definitely juggling a lot here and you know maybe sometimes feeling a little off balance that is your earth energy here earth air air but now you have temperance sag energy sagittarius so here is you know needing to balance again, uh, patience, healing. Um, so definitely need here to balance out your energy, um, having patience again over here with patience in this situation. Ten of swords. So the ten of swords upright is about endings, painful, hurtful endings and completions but it's in reverse. So I feel like, you know, and, and the swords are all about truth, honesty, um, and communication, everything to do with the mind. But in reverse here, uh, hmm. I'm not sure why that's here. Why is the 10 of swords here? We clarify the Ten of Swords or Capricorn. That's too many. That's way too many. Can we clarify? Here we go. The Ten of Swords for Capricorn. So we have the Six of Wands. So, I mean, if you're having mental conflict about, you know, your success in the future, um, it's time to end all that mental conflict here. Um, I feel like, you know, this is like anguish and hurt. You know, it's time to end that because tens are endings because you do have the success, victory, getting 
um, you know, being accomplished, getting the accolades, fire energy here. Again, with that, on the horse here, with that fiery action and determination forward, and this is your success. So you will be successful, and you just need to end those uh, mental thoughts in your mind and just balance out your energy here. So let's see if we can get any more advice. <clears throat> Capricorn, the second half of August. Any advice for Capricorn in this situation? Second half of August. Whether you're, you know, just going to school or you're starting out in a new business, career uh, direction here, I see success. So that is good. But I need to balance out your energy and end mental conflict. Any other advice for Capricorn? Yeah, so. You know, three of swords is pain, hurt. Um, sometimes can indicate third party, but um, I don't know why is the three of swords here in the world. Oh, and the eight of swords. Wow. So <laughs> your advice is, and I had just said to get yourself out of this mental conflict, and now we have the eight of swords confirming that, which is all about mental conflict, and then the three of swords very painful. You know hurtful so maybe you're crying over this and you're very conflicted you have all this mental anguish and thoughts in your mind about is this gonna work for me and you know am I gonna be successful moving forward and the world here is here to say yes you will close out this chapter you will finish your journey and you will start in a whole new direction have a whole new cycle this is the earth energy your energy and start a whole new world and a whole new life so your advice is to get out of this, you know, entrapment in your mind, all these negative thoughts that's causing you heartache and pain that's unnecessary because you have the world here with the Six of Wands. So you have very, very uh, successful energy in a whole new world and a whole new chapter moving forward. So that's awesome for you, Capricorn. So let's see, what is the possible outcome, possible outcome? Capricorn in this journey so you know again we have cap here's your energy Capricorn with the devil again with the negative energy self-doubt fear illusions oh why is the devil here for the possible outcome for Capricorn facing your fears I'm getting you see how <clears throat> needing to face your fa fears your illusions your self-doubt Okay, so we have the Ten of Coins in reverse, well, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Four of Coins. Well, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So your outcome is here. You will have Ten of Pentacles, total fulfillment, abundance, um, wealth, prosperity, success, happy home and family life. So you need to face your fears, your doubts in your negative thinking because you do have the Ten of Coins and the Ace of Wands. So this is a brand new beginning, a new adventure, something you're very passionate about, a new endeavor, project, career. And here it is. And you're very passionate about that. And we got that right at the beginning. And then we have the Four of Coins, coins uh, your energy, which is about stability. So, you know, you will be stable and grounded. Uh, you may feel like you need to hold on to everything you have um, and not let it go, maybe because you may be afraid to lose it again with the negative thinking. But you will be very stable, sturdy, and grounded, and have a firm foundation because you will have eventually the ten of coins. So maybe you know you need to watch your spending um, going forward in the future, so you can go from the four to the ten. So maybe watch your finances, your spending, and things of that nature. Wow. So let's see, are there any other messages for Capricorn for the end of August? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So we have the High Priestess energy, but it did come out in reverse. So Cancer Pisces. So I feel like you're not listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Again, listening to the negative energy instead of your gut and your intuition. You know, you're letting in your spirituality and faith and your hope and your optimism, you're letting this devil negative energy consume your thoughts 
when really you really need to listen to your gut feelings your thoughts your intuition your higher knowing you need to pay more attention to that because we have the six of coins here so again with the balance your energy earth balance a lot of balance so you have to really find your inner balance here in your thoughts your actions moving forward balancing out your finances your time your energy in this new direction that you're going in whatever it is for you any other messages for Capricorn All right, so we have the Ace of Coins, we have the Knight of Swords, and this is the Wheel. So we have Earth, we have Air, we have Sagittarius. So again, brand new beginning here. Here's your foundation again, stable, sturdy, grounded, planting the, that seed, this big seed here for your wealth, prosperity for the future, building a firm foundation that will grow into the Ten of Coins. In the Knight of Swords energy. So, you know, moving forward fearless, fearlessly, um, with truth, honesty, um, just watch your actions and communications that they don't become harsh. And then we have the wheel. So better timing, fame, fortune, everything going in your direction. So there's no need to worry here. Have those fears and doubts and negative thoughts in your mind because you will have success, better timing, everything going in your favor with the wheel of fortune, something that's destined for you. Let's just see what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. So, yeah, keep fighting on. Keep persevering on. You know, long, hard battle, long, hard fight, long process, but you got to keep fighting on. Again, with the Ten of Wands, um, getting rid of all those burdens and um, energy in your mind that you just don't need because you have the Ten of Cups. So, you will be total, you know, air and uh, water energy. You would be total happy, happy, joy. Um, home and family love and abundance here with the ten of cups but you need to um just keep fighting on and let go of those burdens in your mind and you know being on guard and defensive you know defending your path your way your light you know standing up for yourself okay so let's get Let's get extra message for you, Capricorn, for the end of August, last half of August. Extra guidance message for you, Capricorn, on your journey here, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? Oh, okay, we have two. The Hawk Prince, spirit communication, paying attention. Again, an 11 here, which is two, which is about unity. It's about divine unity within yourself, getting balanced, making decisions, and really um, listening and paying attention to your gut and your intuition and how you're truly feeling rather than all the negative thoughts that is just garbage that you don't need in your mind. And maybe spirit and your guys are trying to communicate with you, but you're not paying attention. So if you're not connecting in that way, maybe you need to start focusing your attention more on that energy. Then we have the spirit whisper again, divine guidance, higher knowing. So again, paying attention and you have three, which is compromise, teamwork, working together. So again, I do feel like spirit here is really trying to um, connect with you, wanting you to trust your inner guidance, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, and really pay attention to that. Wow. And then underneath we have chess queen, trust, strategizing. So again, uh, put that there. You know, learning to trust in the process. Three, again, with the teamwork. And then under that, we have Perseverance, Rainbow Prince. So again, to keep, um, and under that, we have the Keeper of the Scales. Again, with balancing out your energy. Um, wow. Balancing out your energy. And again, with 11 and 2, Unity, um, Decisions compensation perseverance keep fighting on going on 
you, you will have this rainbow at the end of your journey. Six of two, eight is that action, communication, travel, chess queen, strategizing, trust, trust in the process, trust in where you're going. Um, strategizing just could be making wise decisions as you're moving forward. Wow. And the three, three, three. Wow. So teamwork, compromise, um, collaboration, again, with your connections and acquiring the knowledge, doing it all with grace. All right, Capricorn, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. And best of luck to you in your situation here, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say, with my channel, as in with the energy of the sun, is to always, always shine your light.